What's up, folks? This is Bobby W6IWN. I'm out here with my buddy Derek again, doing another winner bonus uh, of Prosser Hill. I think Derek has the summit information. Yeah, it's uh, W6 slash NS236. W6 slash NS236, Prosser Hill. Yeah, and I'm here today with Derek. Uh, what's your call sign, Derek? W7 DLZ, Whiskey 7 Delta Lima Zulu. And uh, we didn't get any hiking footage up. It's kind of, we've had to break trail. It's been a little rough today. We're on mile 2.3, but literally the summit's right here. We're about to finally go and set up. So we're looking forward to it. It's been quite a trek up here today. All right, I'm with Whiskey 7 Delta Lima Zulu, Derek. Uh, we're just coming down from activating a summit. And uh, he's been showing me this cool trick, how to get a soda complete the same day you do a soda, and this obviously requires two operators. You want to elaborate a little, Derek? Sure. So a soda complete, you get a soda complete when you both activate a summit and when you chase someone who's on, on, on a summit. And so if you're on a summit with another ham acti operator activator, what you can do is have one person be on the... Um, within the activation zone, which is 25 meters below the summit, and have the other person outside the activation zone, uh, so they're not on the summit, and so the ham calling from outside the zone is chasing the ham in the zone. And so that counts as a chase, and if you've both activated the summit, that guy, or that person, now has a complete. And so if you take turns and then the first ham who was in the summit uh, activation zone goes outside the zone and the other ham who was previously outside the zone got, goes back into the zone and you have a QSO, then the other ham gets a complete because the other ham chased the, the ham that was just chasing him. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, and that's where we're at right now. We're, uh, we just snowshoed up, obviously, but we've been watching our, our GPS and we're right about at the boundary. We wanted to do it on the way up, so that way a guy doesn't have to double back. You can just do one guy on the way up, one guy on the way down. But we're so close, so we're gonna, one guy's just gonna have to backtrack a little bit uphill, but uh, we'll both get our, our complete here. Whiskey 7, Delta Lima Zulu, calling Whiskey 6, uh, IWN. W7 DLZ, W6 IWN. How is it up there on the summit? Snowy, <laughs> cold, <laughs> slippery, but fun. Awesome. It's about the same where I'm standing, too. <laughs> well, I think... We've got our uh, QSOs. You're, you're 5 and 9 plus probably 80. Yeah, same, uh, same you. <laughs> 100 over. All right, let's do the swap. <laughs> okay. W6IWN. Whiskey 7 Delta Lima Zulu. W7DLZ. W6IWN. I got you 30 over. Yeah, you pegged my meter here. Oh, I don't know what you're running there, but it's awful strong at this location. All right, thanks for the soda. Complete, complete. Double, double. <laughs> the snowshoeing up was nice and packed the first mile or so by snowmobile traffic. The, the last one mile plus was all powder. Breaking fresh trail for Derek and Bobby this trip was much more effort and slow going. Once to the summit Bobby had antenna issues once again, however, Derek was kind enough to let him use his antenna to get the activation. That was very kind of Derek. Thanks for watching everyone, if you liked the video please hit the like button.